Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a solution for the matching game and a check function for the matching game. So the first thing we're going to do is make a function for the matching game. This function will be called A. We will have a private function game. We will add one variable. This variable will be called point. And this is to keep track of the points. Then we'll have two more variables or arrays, two more arrays. For the card list, val c1 equals array array list of. Inside here, we'll put in the name of what we called this function right up well, that contains the points. We'll copy this and change c1 and c2. Or choice one and choice two. After that, we'll put in the problem or the puzzle they need to fix. The puzzle they need to fix is one equals fifteen in card number one equals card number fifteen slot fifteen. Card number two equals slot fourteen. And this is just to make it easier. So you don't so you don't have to keep looking back and forth. You can just look at the comment to see what the answer is. Then we'll have a function called solution. Solution will make the cards have the text that it goes to in it. So if you pick both of the same cards that has the same text, then it's the correct one. We we'll have card one x equal one and semicolon card fifteen. Text. And if you click on card 1 and card 15 and they're both the same, you get a point because they're matching. I mean, paste this seven more times and then we're going to change this from 1. We would change this to the solution. And this is what I'm looking at. 15, 14, 12, 14. That's what I'm changing it into. And then you change the text to match the other side. And that's the solution. Now that we have the solution, we need to play the solution so it goes, so it will be able to be able to be played and the game can be solved. After that, we'll have a function check. Function check is for the function to get checked if it's the right card getting paired with. Um, the other right card. In this, we'll put in if 
C1.0 dot test was C2 slot 0 dot text. Then we'll have C1 dot text nothing. Two slot zero dot text equals nothing. Points will be added. Point dot text will be changed because of the points different. And that's for if c1.txt does equal c2.txt. If it doesn't, we'll have an else. Meaning that this the function on top is not true. Else, we'll have a handle which delays the time where the thing will be played. Post delay. We have C one zero at memory says R dot drawable dot sign. That's that's what we have here. This right here. Odd sign and it'll go back, it'll flip back into it. Sign, we'll copy and paste this code right here. Do the same thing with C2, card number two, and then it'll be delayed with 400 milliseconds, which is um, about almost about half a second then we have another handle and this is to get rid of the C1 and C2 choices you want that remove Slot zero and C two remove two remove slot zero on itself, and this will also be delayed by four hundred. Then we'll have one more if statement inside of this. We we'll have we we will have um one more if statement outside of it. So move this brace these connected to the else to this side. Since it'll remove for the top if it's correct and if it's wrong. Because we want it to remove both. After we do that We'll have another if statement. This if statement will say point equal eight, meaning if they get every single point, then the handler dot post play replay this function. They can play the game again. And it will take one second for it to do it.
And now that at the end of this, the beginning, we're going to remove e1.remove and c2.remove for these two. And that's that's it for the check function and the solution. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe. Bye.